One man is behind bars after deputies discovered the body of a teenager shot to death in Northampton County. The suspect was quickly identified and arrested, but investigators are still working on a motive here. Penny your size, Jason Marks, learned more about the victim, 19-year-old Richard McShow, from a family friend. Jason. Yeah, you know, this was a young man just out of high school into college, just starting his life, and there's such disbelief, disbelief that he is gone, and a family friend says it shouldn't have happened to begin with. Uh, I guess it's like everybody. The big question is why. In a home surrounded by fields, deputies say tragedy took place. This is hitting the family really hard. Early Monday morning, Northampton County deputies rushed out to this house on Vaughn Creek Road in the Severn section. When they got there, they found 19-year-old Richard McJoe dead. He had been shot. It was like a punch in the gut. It was just complete shock and, you know, disbelief. Because I didn't want to believe it until I heard it from someone in authority and we finally got that information and you know came to the realization that it happened. Deputies arrested 57 year old Robert Sears. They say Sears owns the home and were told McJoe was there hanging out with Sears daughter. I heard there was some kind of argument and uh, the person that supposedly shot him picked up, picked up a gun and shot him. Police are now trying to find a motive. McJoe's death is really hitting home for this tight-knit community. Como is a small community. I'm sure, you know, uh, other people in the community that know about this, they're pretty much in disbelief about it, too. Disbelief? What could have caused this to happen? Friends say whatever it was, it shouldn't have. He was really a good guy. I don't know the details of what happened, but I'm sure whatever happened, you know, he obviously didn't deserve that. And Sears is being held without bond in jail. He's been charged with first-degree murder and will make his first court appearance tomorrow morning. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.